We've worked with the legislature. Uh, uh, we have an agreement on a bill. That's how Governor Cuomo described the change to the sweeping powers he's been wielding for almost a year since the pandemic gripped New York. State Senator Julia Salazar says that's not how it went down. Not only was um, this legislation not negotiated with the governor's office, it uh, does not allow the governor to hold on to the power that he was granted last year. Cuomo seemed to imply yesterday he could issue new emergency directives. Salazar says the governor can only modify the hundreds of existing orders and only with the consent of the legislature. The Brooklyn Democrat never thought Cuomo should have so much power in the first place. She says there's serious concern amongst lawmakers the governor may not be able to lead it all during the investigation into the sexual harassment allegations made by three women. But what brought this change on were Cuomo's policies around putting discharged COVID patients back into nursing homes. It likely um, was, was a fatal mistake. And it really, I think, creates an urgency and, and put things into perspective for people. As for what to do with the governor now that... I'm not going to resign. Salazar is among the few who say it's time to impeach. The governor has, has lost the faith of the public and um, should not continue to, to be the governor.